On Monday, they'll go back home and will be hosting the Detroit Pistons. And then on Wednesday, they'll start out on the road to play the Pelicans in New Orleans. What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. And now the Atlanta Hawks starters. Collins at the four with Capella at center. In the backcourt, Young and Bogdanovich. And it's Hunter in at the three, the small forward. And for the Cavaliers, Mobley and Allen together in the middle. Garland and Sexton are in the backcourt. And it's Markkinen in at the small forward position. Bogdanovich from long range. And some new faces and new places this year, Grant. How long do you think it takes for a new player to fit in? Well, you know, some players never fit in. But depending upon the style, it varies from player to player. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Guys, you know this. Expectations for Darius Garland were high after he was taken with that fifth pick in 2019. He's made some big-time strides. He continues to improve his Take game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. And Doris, an interesting note about Garland. The first player born in the 2000s to make the league. Okay, stop. Because <laughs> now you're making me feel old. It's true. A new generation is coming in, and I'll tell you what. The league is in spectacular hands. He's perfect from the line this time. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Bogdanovich passes to Young. Collins outside. Three-pointer off the mark. Bogdanovich against Sexton. Outside Garland. Allen with a screen on Young. Takes a step back. Shot clock at five. Garland, the pass to Sexton. Over Bogdanovich. And that one comes up a bit short. Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Outside Hunter. Young against Garland. With the 10-footer. And here's Collins for 3. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. And going against Atlanta, their first meeting on the year. Garland, the pass to Sexton. Pass to Mobley. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Well, that's an example of using both vision and playmaking ability to find the open teammate. Sexton is a quality floor general. Outside Bogdanovich. Well, the Hawks again cannot hit it. Marketing against Hunter. Now Garland. Pass to Sexton. Hunter against Markkinen. And the foul on DeAndre Hunter. That's his first foul of the game. Outside Garland. And he buries his first look. Boy, Darius Garland in no mood to be denied on the interior. Go ahead, young sir. Atlanta with the ball. Nothing up yet on the scoreboard for him. They come into this one having outplayed the Mavericks last time out. And you'd have to think that Luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had it off night at the defensive end for sure. Well, give them some credit for taking advantage of a weak defense and capitalizing on every mistake. The Hawks trailing. Bogdanovich finds Capella. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. 
Pass to Young. To end the drought. <laughs> They're amped up on D, contesting everything. I won't go for him. Now 0 for 2. On the wing, Sexton. Hey, rejected by Capella. They recover it, and he makes it. Here's Young. He's coming off a 19-point game against Dallas. And his free throw numbers tell you a lot about his performance. He was very aggressive. And with this break, a chance to see the best passers in the league from last season. Second, Trey Young. Not a lot of guys had better vision on the floor than him. He was able to see passing lanes and ready shooters no one else could. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Collins finds Young. And here's Hunter. 11 points for him last game against Dallas. Clock at four. The Hawks need to get one up here. Marketing with it. And it's Hunter picking him up. Marketing the pass to Allen. Boy, even beyond his signature look, Jarrett Allen is a true throwback big man. Uses his height to own the paint and just locks in on his strengths. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. free throw good from Allen. But think about Mr. Jared Allen. He was not the first family member to get picked in the NBA draft. Let's remember his dad taken by Dallas in the famous 1985 draft. His dad, however, would go on to have a playing career in Europe. And the Hawks making a change here. Jang's checked in. So both free throws good from Allen. Here's Bogdanovich. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Outside Young. Collins with a screen on Garland. Young finds Bogdanovich. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. And something else that really makes Allen a renaissance big is how he sticks to high percentage shots, Doris. Well, think about it. Field goal percentage at over 60%. He doesn't get outside himself. This guy earns his keep, earns his money in the paint. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Atlanta's gone just one of six from the three-point line so far. Here's Young. He takes it in. The rebound by Allen. The Cavaliers leading. Left side, Garland. Pass to Allen. Here's Mobley. Guarded by Young. Outside Bogdanovich. Collins with it. Checked by Sexton. Let's it go from 14. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. And this is a shot he can definitely make. And the defense not a factor at all. Allen with a screen on Young. Here's Garland. And there's the rejection. Oh, the 7-3 wingspan erases that shot. Nice by Gorgie Zhang. And Atlanta has possession. They trail by nine. Young against Garland. Down low. Here's Zhang. Nice D from Allen. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. 
And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. They'll pin that one on John Collins. When thinking about Colin Sexton, the first thing that comes to mind is his burst. I mean, his acceleration is just tremendous. He can go from zero to 60 like a race car. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. one falls for him. You know, Grant, with Sexton, it's not just that he has speed. He actually knows how to use that speed as a weapon. Yeah, he really does. I mean, defenders have to play out on him because of his three-point ability. So he'll wait to catch them flat-footed, then use his burst to blow by them, getting into the teeth of the defense and making plays. Young from long range. Oh, the Hawks again cannot hit it. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Allen with a screen on Young. Here's Garland. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Garland's got six. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Collins outside. Back to Young. Down to five on the shot clock. And he drops it in from the low post. you got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. Garland, the pass to Markkinen. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And as great as Markinen is on offense, his defense leaves much to be desired. Doesn't offer much defense as a post player at this point in his career. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Cleveland. They're playing a physical Shoot brand two. of basketball so far. And those trips to the foul line have been very useful. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. That's good for Markkinen. And for Markkinen and his defense, it's a work in progress. Grant, there's still some time for him to improve. He's got a long way to go. Not a natural rebounder. He just looks a little uneasy when switched into ISO situations. The Hawks making a switch here. Gallinari, he's checked in for John Collins. Reddish comes in for Hunter. Herders checked in for Bogdanovich. And Wright subbed in for Young. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Wright against Rubio. Pass to Jang. Outside Gallinari. Rejected by Allen. Wow. Jared Allen twice on the pipe. Send it back, young sir. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Osman, he's checked in for Markkinen. Five on the clock. Shoots from 12. Gallinari's shot is off. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. It's tipped. Now here's Wright. Pass to Gallinari. Pure from three-point range. This guy is such a consistent shooter. Gallinari with the long-range delivery. Here's Osman. Nine points for him in his last game. Out to the wing. Love finds Rubio. Back to Love. Five to shoot. Here's Osman. Hits the front of the rim and out. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Rejected by Allen. Here's Okoro. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Rubio passes to Allen. Here's Okoro. Let's it go from deep. Hits the three-pointer. And the Cavaliers lead by 13. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. 
Here's Herter. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Osman. To the left side wing. The three from Okoro. Right with the board. And you can tell right there, the defense is totally fine with him shooting that. That's not his game. Pass to Reddish. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. The Cavaliers have gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. Outside love. To the paint. Lays it up and banks it in. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Pass to Jang. Here's Reddish. There's a screen by Jang. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul and he'll take two free throws now. off on the first and the second free throw is good the Cavaliers have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control Rubio passes to Allen here's Osman after missing his first attempt, now one for two. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Pass to Jang. Outside Herter. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Well, Gorgi Zhang is a big man, is an excellent passer. That's a pretty look. A minute 53 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Osman. Love with the ball. Back to Allen. A shot from the low post is good. Allen's got his second basket of the night. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Here's Wright. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Gallinari. No good with the triple. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. And the basket by Rubio. They have no answer defensively inside. One oh five left to play in the first. Here's Reddish. Let's a floater go. And he lays it up and in. Reddish has got five now. Showing off with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. Rubio against right. Pass to Allen. Let's it fly. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Man, that's now ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. The Hawks making a switch here. Williams is checked in.
Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Allen, no good on the free throw. When you think about it, they're trailing in part because they're giving away too many trips to the charity strike. Pass to Herter. Here's Reddish. Just five to shoot. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. No question who's in control of the board so far. Outside Rubio. Counted from distance. He's got five. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game. With The right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers out in front by 19 going into the break. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. Well, good to great. A catchphrase of unselfish play. And point guard Ricky Rubio says it also characterizes this team's growth mentality. We want more. We don't accept good. We want great or greatest. We're just trying to be better every day. It's never too high, never too low. But we know what we can be and we want to get better. Well, Grant, it's great to have veteran leaders like Rubio. It really is. And continuing to search for that next level as a team, that growth mind state can only help. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, the Cavaliers enjoying a nice lead here. But simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second chance touches. And that's how they controlled the first quarter. I thought they were the much more physical team. Sexton and Okuro, they're the wings. Lori Markinen out there with Mobley. And it's Garland in at the point. That's the five for Cleveland right now. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. John Collins checked in for Williams. And we're seeing teams pick up the pace. Something you set the trend for in Phoenix, Grant. Why do you think that's becoming more prevalent? Great question. I mean, in today's game, we're all about the analytics. And that has shown that you shoot a higher percentage earlier in the shot clock. So it makes sense to push the tempo and see what you can get early. Pass to Garland. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Garland's got his third basket on the night right there. Well, the toughness of Darius Garland on display. Wants to finish through contact and get the bucket. If they're going to go on a run, Grant, there's no better time than right now. You're so right, B.A. I think they definitely expected a closer game than this. Here's Young. And that one's drained from the low block. Young's gotten his second bucket. And Cleveland shooting at a very efficient 67%. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian. Colin Sexton's nickname at Alabama was the Young Bull. He said, quote, I just play with a lot of passion through adversity. No matter what the score is, I play a complete game. Every time I step on the court, I have to show the world what I can do. Oh, tremendous energy, Ali, right? Thanks for that. Capella finds Bogdanovich with the drive. And so far in this one, two for four. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. Pass to Akuro. Oh! <laughs> and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. 
What an incredible athlete this guy is. Okuro rises up and finishes with force. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Bogdanovich passes to Capella. Young inside, guarded by Garland. Young can't hit. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Pass to Mobley. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. And the shot is good by Garland. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. The Hawks have got two of three shots to go in the second. Young against Garland. Outside Young, and he drives in. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Young's got six points. It's amazing what Young can do out there offensively. He just reads the defense so well. The Cavaliers have gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Pass to Akuro. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Well, Doris, you have to think Isaac Okoro is on track to become a standout player in the NBA. Well, there's no doubting this guy has all the physical tools. He has shown promising defensive awareness, and this guy is always working so hard on the floor. And Markinen with the stuff. <laughs> you could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. The Hawks have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Pass to Capella. Got a piece of it. Here's Akuro. He has seven. Now Sexton. Here's Akuro. Guarded by Young. Outside for Sexton. And they'll get another chance. Garland against Young. They shoot again. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one on Capella. Well, give Darius Garland credit for looking to score. He forces the defense into action. Shooting two. That's good from Garland. When he first came into the NBA, Grant, Darius Garland was a little bit of a mystery. He only played five games in college because of an injury, but it didn't stop the Cavs from taking him with the fifth pick overall in 2019. And that's how obvious his talent was. It was clear his offensive skill set could translate to the NBA. Now, when you've got a guy who can shoot over the defense or can get into the lane and finish, you can't pass him up, no matter how many games he played in college. You know what you love about Darius Garland's potential? It's as a scorer in this league, right? This, he's so aggressive. He plays assertively. And that, to me, is the key for young players. Six on the shot clock. Bogdanovich passes to Young. Here he goes. Just his fourth make in ten tries. Are you serious? <laughs> what a sweet move. Broke his ankles on that one. For Cleveland, they've gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Bogdanovich against Sexton. Oh, big finish! Oh, did you see that? And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Okay, the initiative from the young bull, Colin Sexton, as some like to call him. How about that drive? Young, the pass to Collins. Now here's Bogdanovich. Off the mark there with a three. Sexton against Bogdanovich. And Mobley with the basket on the assist by Sexton. Sexton's got three assists in the game. They need something good to happen here. 
Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Young finds Collins. Outside Bogdanovich. Capella screen on Sexton. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. Yep, count it. Bogdanovich has gotten four this quarter. Well, it looks like he has put that rough first quarter in the rear view. He's starting to cook here in the second. Driving to the basket. That shot, no good. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Boy, a forgettable night for him, but thankfully his teammates have played well overall. To the left wing. Young from long range. And the foul on DeAndre Hunter. That's his third foul of the game. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Love's checked in. Wright's checked in for the Hawks. And here are the Cavaliers now. They're on a 14-6 run. Poke loose. It's stolen by Wright. And he lays it in. Uh, there's a level of determination on that dribble drive by DeLon Wright. Okay, DeLon, we see you. The Cavaliers have gone 8 of 11 in the second quarter. Here's Garland. Hey, rejected by Capella. Here's Wright. Some solid defense from Sexton. Might like a do over there. Quality look inside. I love this game plan. That's 10 points in a row from in close. Markkanen with a screen on Young. Markkanen outside. The three. Atlanta with a rebound. Capella's got five rebounds in the game. Right, the pass to Young. Back to right. Garland against Collins. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. They're improving, but still find themselves behind. Yeah, but this run started with tighter execution at both ends, and, and that'll need to be maintained for them to have a chance to take the lead. Garland against Young. Love a screen on Young. To the wing on the left. And another miss by Cleveland. And here are the Hawks now. They've gone on an 8-0 run. Going inside, and his fifth make of the game in 12 attempts. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Outside Sexton with the teardrop. That one's good. Two for eight now. How about the soft touch on the floater from Colin Sexton? You must have that in your arsenal. Now the Hawks with it. They've outscored him 10 to 2 during this run. Collins outside. Pass to Young. Into the lane. Over Garland. Young misses. Cleveland has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Out left to the wing. Garland, the pass to Sexton. And it's blocked. What a play as he just snatches the shot out of midair. Capella with it. Young finds Capella. Back to Young. Collins with a screen on Garland. And that one's good. Young. Young's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. Love passes to Garland. Now Markkinen launches a three. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Markkinen's got seven points. Well, just quick with the decision-making. Smart pass by Darius Garland. Boy, this Hawks squad is struggling. Collins with a screen on Garland. Here's Young. Drives to the hoop. And he drains it. Making him 7 for 15 for the day. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Right against Sexton. Love passes to Sexton. Shot clock at 6. And that one drops. Give him 8. This young man loves to play through contact and certainly has the frame to absorb it. Go ahead, young Sexton. 
Pass to Young. The three is up. No good there. And it's Cleveland the other way. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Here's Sexton. And right with the defensive effort. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. There's a minute 26 left in the second period. Sexton against Wright. Wright with a steal. And here's the fast break. Here's Hunter. Young against Garland. Young, the pass to Wright. And there it is for him. Well, DeLon Wright has now learned how to operate in the pick and roll, and he is exceptional, thinking like a scorer. Outside Garland. To the middle. Here's Markkinen. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. Garland's got three assists tonight. 46 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Collins with a screen on Garland. And Young, here we go, over Garland. The Cavaliers pull it in. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Hornets. And coming into that one, honestly, they were hoping to pull off an upset. But the talent differential was just too much to overcome. You had the sense that they expected that result. Once they dug themselves into a hole, I thought they let go of the rope. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Just five on the clock. Young, the pass to Capella. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Capella's got his first points of the night. Inside, Capella's physical ability makes the difference. He can get vertical, bump with you, whatever it takes. And so it's Cleveland. A sizable 18-point lead at the end of the period. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. We'll be right back. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. Being out on the road can really take it out of you. They need to make sure they're getting well rested between games. Otherwise, they'll be looking like zombies by the end of the trip. And now turning our attention to this game, we have seen a very confident performance for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, they were completely in rhythm shooting the basketball. Just watching the flow of their offense, everything clicked into place. Fantastic shot selection. They took advantage of everything the defense gave them. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. And the Hawks, looking at who they've got. At the forward slots, Hunter and Collins. In the backcourt, Young and Bogdanovich. And it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. Watch how Young outsmarts the defense, going for the pull-up jumper when they're unprepared. Garland, the pass to Allen. Inside. Capella with a rebound. The Hawks shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Young against Garland. And Young gets it to go. Young's got 19. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Boy, we're seeing inspired play out of them. And that's certainly reflected in the score. Garland, the pass to Allen. 
Sexton against Bogdanovich. Little turnaround. Good D by Bogdanovich. Pass to Young. Stolen. Sexton against Collins. Looking to get it going. And it's blocked by Collins. You can't sleep on Collins' long arms when he's defending you. He'll swat you down all day with that long reach. Bogdanovich with it. Capella screen on Sexton. Six to shoot. Bogdanovich finds Capella. Left side Young. Over Garland. The Cavaliers pull it in. Allen's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Hunter against Markkinen. And the foul on DeAndre Hunter. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Garland for three. Drops in the three. Garland's got 15 points. Well, I like the no hesitation. Darius Garland knows you have to be assertive in catch-and-shoot situations. Young, the pass to Capella. Outside Young. Pass to Bogdanovich. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And it's always fun to see a defensive powerhouse like Evan Mobley. He savors any chance he gets to affect a shot or totally shut down an opponent. Atlanta's gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Let's go with a three. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. That's on Colin Sexton. Ooh, good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. Well, when you look at Mobley's collegiate stat line, blocks definitely jump out at you. He averaged almost three a game. Well, B.A., he obviously knows how to use all of his reach, but I'm sure he'll have to make some adjustments to be as effective here in the three NBA. Three shots. Three shots. And that one falls for Bogdanovich. Rubio's checked in for the Cavaliers. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Gallinari's checked in. Good on the second one. And he makes all three. The Cavaliers have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Garland with a screen on Bogdanovich. Rubio passes to Allen. And here's Garland. Out to the right wing. Five to shoot. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. Marking it from long range. And the ball out of play. The Hawks will have it. And while we have a break, here were some of the top free throw shooters in the game last season. Third, Danilo Gallinari. Very steady at the line. He's the guy who isn't rattled easily, and that shows in his free throw shooting numbers. Pass to Capella. Screen by Capella. Now Collins puts up a three. No good on the shot. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Garland against Young. Right side, Garland. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That one on Young. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested.
No good on that one. Osman, he's checked in for Markkinen. And he sinks the second. The Hawks have gone two of five in this third quarter. Bogdanovich passes to Gallinari. Outside, Williams. Cleveland has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Williams against Garland. Pass to Mobley. And there's the foul. It's on Lou Williams. That's his first foul. Yeah, they've been pretty careless so far, racking up a number of fouls in very little time. And here are the Cavaliers now. They lead by 14. Back to Allen. You got to credit Zhang's defense. That miss didn't just happen by accident. Pass to Reddish. Williams with the screen. Clock at six. And the layup is good off the glass. Reddish has got seven points in the game. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Here's Garland. 16 points for him. Pass to Osman. They set the screen. Here's Mobley. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Williams. It's stolen by Rubio. Here's Osman. That's in there. Rubio with the assist. Five points in the game. Wow, able to survey over the top of defenses as well as squeeze into tight quarters. Rubio is the consummate playmaker. There's a screen by Jang. Here's Williams. No luck on that one. Nice D from Allen. Garland up top. Defended by Bogdanovich. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Okoro's checked in. Collins, he's checked in for the Hawks. Herter comes in for Bogdanovich. Pass to Akuro. Here's Mobley. He's covered by Gallinari. Shot clock at five. Rubio passes to Allen. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Great game for him. Double-double now. Williams with it. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Gallinari. Collins a screen. Outside Gallinari. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Love is checked in for the Cavaliers. Ah. 
Williams against Rubio. And that's a foul called on Ricky Rubio. That's his first foul. Pass to Herter. Six to shoot. Back to Williams. To halt the run. A nice defense by Rubio. Making an effort to frustrate his man. Oh, the Hawks again cannot hit it. Love the screen on Williams. Pass to Allen. To the inside. Outside Rubio. Oh, he tries a three. Gallinari pulls it in. For Atlanta, they've gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Now here's Collins. Inside. And Collins with the slam. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. Williams against Rubio. Over to the left wing. Love for three. That one falls. Coming off Rubio's feed. Rubio's got four assists now tonight. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. And it's Williams off the drive. Here's Collins. That one no good. And it's Cleveland the other way. And here comes Cleveland. They're on a 10-2 run here. Pass to Love. And he makes it on the layup. Love's got his third basket of the night. And we know this about Kevin Love. Contact will not deter him. Here's Herder. Outside Gallinari. Williams with it. He's off on that one. Rubio with some nice D. This guy cannot get started, and the offense overall has been a struggle because of it. Pass to Akuro. Here's Osman. Another shot. There's the block. Now Gallinari. Outside. Williams. Collins with a screen on Love. Williams in the post. Love's there. Love grabs the miss. Love's got his fourth rebound in this one. He's so frustrated. Hasn't had a make-all game. It's making it very difficult for them to find any success. Pass to Osman. Six on the shot clock. Collins with the rebound. Atlanta's gotten only one three-pointer to fall here in the third. Five attempts. Outside, Williams. Shot to end the cold streak. Rejected by Allen. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Allen. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Sexton's checked in for Osman. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Wright's checked in for Williams. Wright outside. Clock is at three. Gallinari for three. And they recover it. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Rubio with the ball. Picked up by Collins. Outside for Love. Outside Sexton. Looking to get back on track. And he gets it to go. Sexton's got 10. Well, Colin Sexton's ability to dribble drive is probably his greatest asset. What a pretty move. Boy, it is hard not to love the absolute high energy level Colin Sexton plays with. He's relentless. He stays active whether he's on or off the ball. Right, the pass to Collins. Basket's good. 
He's got six. Uh, DeLon Wright proving that he is an excellent decision maker on the offensive end. He made open. Let me find him. Cleveland has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Sexton finds Allen. And here's Love. Out to the right wing. Outside Sexton. Pass to Love from downtown. Right with the board. And for the Hawks, they're shooting a low 29% since halftime. Now here's Collins. Here's Gallinari. Cashes it in from 11 feet. This guy is such a patient offensive talent. Danilo Gallinari gets into the mid-range and makes it look easy. And there's the screen. Rubio passes to Sexton. Here's Okoro. Let's the three fly. Rebounded by the Hawks. Wright's got four rebounds now. Eleven seconds left in the third quarter to the paint. Collins right side. Over Love. Not enough on that one as it misses. And so it's Cleveland ending the quarter with a 20-point edge. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. You love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Garland and Sexton are in the backcourt. Mobley out there with Laurie Markkinen. And it's Love in at the five. Down low. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Down low. Here's Mobley. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Well, the Hawks shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. Now here's Young. Guarded closely. And here's Hunter for three. Love grabs the miss. Love's got his seventh rebound here tonight. From outside the arc. The rebound by the Hawks. They host the Pistons after this one. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. Pass to Herder. Carries it down low. Nice passing instincts from Young. Quickly moving the ball to a guy with a wide open look. Here's Mobley. Hunter covering on the wing. Sexton. There's a screen. Well, Grant, it seems like more and more game time is spent with officials huddled around a monitor. You think instant replay has been a positive thing for the league? Well, for the most part, I think it has been a positive thing. I enjoy it. I think it brings a level of transparency, and also it's important to get the call right. But at times, it does disrupt the flow of a game, and players can't be consumed about winning every call all the time. Pass to Sexton. Fires the three. Rebound, Trey Young. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Sees his man has the angle on the interior and drops a dime right there. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Garland, the pass to Love. Now Sexton. There's the drive. And he banks in the layup. And the Cavaliers lead by 18. Man, that's a big-time fearless move from Colin Sexton. Put it home, young sir. The Hawks have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Pass to Capella. Capella, screen on Sexton. Here's the teardrop, and Capella gets it to go. Impressive. Their ball movement has been excellent tonight. 
On the wing, Sexton. Ooh, some solid defense from Herter. The Hawks have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Young, the pass to Bogdanovich. Hunter against Love. Pass to Young. This one for three. Knocks down the triple. Young's got 22 points. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Allen's checked in. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. J.B. Bickerstaff had some words for his team over the break. He spoke about their approach going forward. He believes that this is a mental battle. He told his players how we think about each possession will determine the outcome. Let's stay locked in. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Pass to Markkinen. Stolen by Capella. Outside Herter to the middle. Now here's Capella. Outside Bogdanovich. And here is Young. And here's Herter. Over Sexton. Herter can't hit. Just showing some tremendous authority controlling the boards. Love it. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical ability. He's winning with anticipation. The three from Sexton. Fires in the triple. Sexton's got five points in the quarter. Ooh, finally hitting one from range. That's his first three of the night. Atlanta with the ball. It's a 16-point game. Young, the pass to Capella. Capella, screen on Markkinen. Up top, Young. Guarded by Garland. It's good. Young's got 10 points here in the second half. And so shifty with great handles. Young gets the defender to commit, then takes full advantage. Markkinen outside. Pass to Mobley. Count it. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Here's Bogdanovich. Capella, screen on Markkinen. Young, the pass to Capella. And the slam dunk by Capella. When they time that play right, Capella is a good man to have on the end of it. He's a strong finisher when he rolls off the screen. Markkinen outside. On the wing, Sexton. Markkinen with a screen on Capella. Sexton misses. For Atlanta, they've gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. Outside, Hunter. Pass to Young. Shot clock at six. The kick to Hunter. Three-pointer. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. And following this one, they'll take on the Nuggets in Denver. That kicks off a five-game road trip for the club. Garland finds Sexton. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Well, you love the fearless nature of Colin Sexton. Forces the issue, gets himself to the free throw line. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Cleveland. 
I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In the first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Yeah, something else that stands out tonight is how many assists they have. The first one falls. I think it's hard not to be excited about Colin Sexton's future. This is a young guard with tremendous upside, and you know he's already got athleticism and scoring ability. John Collins checked in for the Hawks. And so he's able to get one of two. Atlanta's gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Hunter passes to Young. Collins with a screen on Garland. Young from long range. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Garland. Capella with the defensive effort. Atlanta is shooting only 42%. Bogdanovich finds Collins. Pass to Bogdanovich for three. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Sexton against Bogdanovich. It's good. Sexton's got eight points here in the quarter. Colin Sexton early in his career has demonstrated great instincts in the pick and roll. Good decision making. Outside Hunter. Fires for three. That one's good. And it's Young with the assist. Young's got seven assists in the game. They need to run plays for him. Get him more touches. Whatever it takes to get him producing. Allen with a screen on Bogdanovich. Sexton against Bogdanovich. Outside Garland. And there's the drive. Here's Mobley. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. And the Cavaliers lead by 16. The Hawks have gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. Marketing against Collins. Pass to Bogdanovich. Now here's Young. Five on the clock. Collins with a screen on Garland. There's Young with the three. That shot off the mark. And it's Cleveland the other way. Outside Garland. Now here's Allen. Left side Sexton. Out to Garland. Three-pointer. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Here's Atlanta with the ball. They trail by 16. Pass to Capella. Back to Bogdanovich. Up top, Collins. The kick to Hunter. Collins with a screen on Markadon. Hunter can't get it to go. For Cleveland, they've gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Back to Garland. Pass to Markadon. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Good for marketing. And the Hawks shooting 47% since the fourth quarter started. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. 
for Cleveland. They've gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Pass to Allen. And here's Garland. And a miss there on the triple. Hunter against Sexton. Here's Young. Here's Collins. Now here's Bogdanovich. It's guarded by Markinen. Pass to Bogdanovich. Now here's Collins. And Collins with the slam. I'll tell you what. It's good to be his age. Yeah. I don't have memories like that at my age, though. <laughs> Marking it outside. Allen a screen. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to go on DeAndre Hunter. Well, that was clearly a foul. Good for marketing. Marketing hits them both. The Hawks shooting forty percent so far in this one. Pass to Collins. Collins with a screen on Garland. And Young, here we go. Collins passes to Capella. Collins with a screen on Marketing. Takes a 13-footer. No good. A bit long that time. Cleveland has gone one for five from downtown here in the fourth. 133 left in the fourth quarter. They set the pick. Here's Mobley. Collins defending. And Mobley gets it to go. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Cavaliers. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. Man, you have to recognize what a night it was for Evan Mobley. Boy, whatever was needed, he provided it. He was the jack of all trades. Big bucket on one end, big defensive play on the other. I thought his influence was felt all over the floor. So it's the Cavaliers now. Shot from 12. Capella with a rebound. Bogdanovich finds Young. Collins outside. Down low. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Markinen. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Allen, the pass to Garland. Takes it inside. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. The incredible speed on Darius Garland's drive, I think, took the defender off guard. Nice job earning a trip to the foul line. Two, two. First free throw is good. Shots good from the strike. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the fourth. 
Outside, Williams. And so it's the Cavaliers taking care of business in this one. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what. Give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Lori, an impressive win tonight. What do victories like this tell you about where this team is headed? Uh, it gives us confidence. We showed that if we play well and we play defense down the stretch, we can beat. And we've shown it. We can compete with anybody. We just got to do it for a full game. Confidence is key down the stretch. Thanks, Lori. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Evan Mobley.